how do you separate yourself from a loved one who is negative and completely dependent on you? <sighs> That's a hard one, isn't it? How many of us have been there before? Hearts. How do you separate yourself from a loved one who is completely negative and dependent on you? Well, I'll tell you what I tell everybody else. Well, there are 11 keys to enlightenment that I, a mere mortal, have identified. And they're all very important. And I just talked about this to my people on Patreon. And if you want to, if you want to um, contribute to me on Patreon, I give like a class every single month. Um, I think, what is it, a $5? It's like $5 a month and you get a class um, every single month. This month's class or last month's class was the 11 keys to enlightenment. One of the keys to enlightenment, this is something that you need to do if you want to expand your consciousness, is you've got to take care of your relationships. You have to be willing to look at them and to identify the ones that do not work for you, the ones that are causing damage to you. Like half of us aren't even willing to do that. Half of us don't, la, 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 I don't want to know because if I know, then I got to do something about it. You already know. You already know that you are dealing with somebody who's negative and also completely dependent upon you. So you have, two cho you have three choices. First choice, do nothing at all. It is what it is, as they say. The result of this will be delay, detour, secondary path on the blueprint, possibly third, and attention within yourself because you're a light worker. You've come here to do something. You have a mission to do. And if you spend your time with people who don't appreciate you, and if you give your energy to psychic vampires, well, you're going to be depleted, and that's what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's your first choice. Your second choice is to moderate your exposure to this person. This means you create boundaries. I don't know if they live with you. If they live with you, well, they have to leave the house. And if they can't, you leave the house. You get out. You take care of yourself. You go somewhere else. You do something else where you actually get physical distance from this person because their energy is strong. And if their energy is strong, don't get it twisted. It's changing you. It's changing you. It's impacting you. That's the nature of energy. Energy talks to energy. And so their energy is talking to your energy. The bodies okay, of this energy, which are your bodies, are talking to each other. And you change one another necessarily. That's how energy works. So wh how, what kind of changes is this person making to you? Negative changes? Yeah. So get away from them. Give yourself some time in healthy energy. Give yourself in some time restoring and refreshing your energy, your body, your mind, and your spirit. Can you do that? Can you cut down on the time? Can you take it from 20 hours a week exposed to this person down to 10 or 5, even better? Then do that. That is something that you can do to begin now to change your vibration. And changing your vibration is the key to changing your life. The third option is to walk away. Walk away. And a lot of us think we can't but we can. A lot of us feel like, well, I have a responsibility, like this is my parent, or this is my mate, and I just can't, like I married this person, or like this, I owe my mom, or whatever. We feel like we can't. You can. You can. And I say it all the time. It is your mandate to protect your path. It is your mandate to protect your path. If you don't, who's, who's going to do it? This person is not protecting your path. This, pers this person is not protecting your talents, your gifts, your ability, the time you have left on this, this planet. Is this person protecting that for you? No. Only you can do that. You think it's selfish. It's not. It's self-motivating. It's knowing who it is that you are. It's creating a new landscape for yourself inwardly and outwardly so you can have a new life. Choice one, it is what it is, is what it is. I don't recommend that for you. Choice two, distance, moderate your exposure. I don't feel that's possible for you for whatever reason. I could be wrong. Third, eliminate it entirely. You can do it. It's possible. Said the woman, this is my third marriage. I've walked away from two long-standing marriages with two 
good people actually, but we were no longer a match for one another. And it was difficult and it was hard and I had to figure it out. I had to get it together. I didn't know. I had to go through a lot of changes, my friend, but I did it because I had to protect my path and where I was going. And if I didn't do it, I wouldn't be here now. So I'm so grateful that I did, even though it was hard. Those are your options and it's up to you. This is a free will dimension. So your choice, your choice, your responsibility. Louisa Lynn, spot on. I live with them. Thank you. I will try to walk away. Uh huh. My sense is that it's not something that you can moderate easily. It would be better to walk away. And that sounds radical. And that sounds crazy. And it may be darkest before the dawn, but that is what you, that is what you might have to do. And let me tell you something, sweetie. Three years from now, two years from now, five years from now, it's a whole new world. Oh, my God. The world opens up to you. When you get brave, hun, when you move in the direction of your path, when you say yes to spirit, yes to blueprint, yes to purpose, I'm going to take action steps to do it. It's a whole new world. Spirit always meets you right where you are and gives you everything you need to succeed. But if you're going to say, if you're going to stay stuck, if you're going to stay complicit in your own delay, that is on you.